Commander, it's clear now that Hannibal's recent assault was misdirection in a desperate bid to free General Mutoto. Once again at the helm of Eastern Horde, Mutoto seems set on two things, regrouping with Hannibal and getting revenge against us. Going on a hunch from Shadow, we may need to look to the past to see a way forward. Adding further fuel to their fires, there have been reports of two new enemies on the battlefield, the Meteor and Life Taker. Capable of firing large barrages of rockets, the Meteor can make fast work of anything not quick enough to get out of the way, both on the ground and in the air. Packed with combustible explosives, the Life Taker attempts to slam into ground targets before exploding into flames. The initially slow-moving Life Taker sees a large speed increase once it takes any damage. Be wary, Commander. They don't call this thing the Life Taker for nothing. This event sees the introduction of the Bishop, the first Gen 3 vehicle. Equipped with the Devotion Aura, this Sentinel's vehicle is capable of boosting the reload speed of nearby allied units. The Bishop's Aura is unique in that any units that move through it retain the effects for a considerable amount of time outside of the Aura. Some units have the speed at which they fire restricted by the charge rate of the unit instead of the reload speed. To adapt your Bishop to benefit those units, equip the Fervor component to increase the charge rate. This will be vital for boosting the effectiveness of units like the Draken, and of course, the Prophet. Fervor is an unlimited component that is available in the event store. Instead of a traditional weapon, the Bishop is capable of marking enemy targets, allowing allies to deal more damage to them. The Bishop's level 10 talent increases 30% improved speed, while its level 20 talent, Spot Weakness, increases the damage bonus of its marking ability. Collect 24 Bishop units to unlock unlimited build for them. This event also sees a new single-use hero joining Corpus with the introduction of Neil, the Sphinx hero. Neil's Sphinx has improved durability and can fire at up to five targets at once with sustained damage. He is also equipped with a powerful burst damage weapon, and has additional weaponry that triggers multiple times after receiving damage. Earn single-use Neil exclusively from the main track. This event marks your last chance to earn Omega Darkstorm parts from Sector Goal bases. Be sure to grab them while the Omega Darkstorm bases pay out an increased minimum of two Omega Darkstorm parts. In addition, a new Darkstorm component is now available in the event store. Tank Nos. This component tunes up your Darkstorm with up to 30% improved speed. You can also pick up standard and elite Darkstorm parts from the event store at their lowest prices ever, along with many other goodies. We're feeling the full heat of the Eastern Horde bearing down upon us. It's up to Shadow's plan to cool these out of control flames. Operation Heat Wave starts Thursday, August 23rd.